I've always been drawn to custom bikes. I think there's something special about being able to get a bike that's made exactly for you in terms of fit. My name is Sean Coffey. I've ridden bikes with John Coletti for a number of years. When I heard that he had this specific bike open that was going to be built for the North American Handmade Bike Show and that Jeremiah Keeley would be doing the artwork, it was an easy decision. I'm John Coletti. I build custom steel and titanium bicycles in Santa Cruz, California. This year's North American Handmade Bicycle Show gave me an opportunity to do something a little bit special, unusual. I collaborated with artist and friend Jeremiah Killey on a project we've been talking about for some time where I would build the frame and hand it off to him to work his magic and apply some original artwork. I happened to be sharing this concept with Sean and he was like, I want that bike. Sean and I worked together to establish a good fit and setup for him, knowing that Sean is a really fast rider, that he pushes the bike hard, both on the climbs and the descents, really informs the way that I approach designing the bike and choosing the tubing. My emphasis as a designer and builder is to really make this thing ride as best as it can and sweat the little details that get covered up in this beautiful paint job. My name is Jeremiah Killey. I live in Santa Cruz, California. I'm a professional artist by trade and uh, become good friends with John over the years through the course of racing and riding bikes with him. Originally, when we spoke about me painting the bike, I kind of assumed and, and set aside about 20 hours is what I thought it would take roughly to paint the bike. In hindsight, it was probably closer to about 60 hours. I started with the stem. I painted an anchor top and bottom, and then around that, I surrounded it with triangles. It's a geometric pattern that I use throughout a lot of my work. It took about six hours to finish the stem, and at that point I realized that my 20-hour allotted budget for the project was out the window. I chose to use one-shot sign paint. It's really fluid and pulls really nice with the brush and has a really nice opacity. As far as the art on the bike, it was, uh, it was a combination of a couple of things. One is there's a lot of design elements, uh, triangles, and then uh, kind of an abstracted line work, a water pattern. I'm really into texture, so I wanted there to be, as the viewer got closer to the bike, that you could see that it was painted with a brush, and there's a brush stroke and uh, a bit of texture there. There's a bunch of sea creatures and elements kind of throughout the, the bike. It got dubbed the Kraken at some point. I've ridden a lot of different frames and uh, a lot of different materials, a lot of nice bikes, but I keep coming back to a nice handmade steel bike. It's something that I'll always have. I think a good steel bike, the way that it responds under your power, the way that it communicates with you on a rough road, the way that it lets you know what's going on, whether you're pushing it or whether you're just cruising, steel's always going to be a frame material that I think good riders are going to gravitate towards. One thing about this bike that a lot of people have asked me, they think it's uh, something that should be hung up on the wall and looked at. It's that beautiful. I get that point, but to me, I feel like a bike like this is meant to be ridden, and it does get ridden a lot.